pioneering pianists of Southeast Asia aims to recognize a generation of pianists who have contributed to the region's cultural identity and helped to establish its presence on the international stage. In this first of three episodes, we introduce Nat Yon Tararak and his musical legacy. Since I was young, I'm very familiar with the royal composition of King Ramana IX because I have played him since I was 12. And when I have the chance to play the Thai music, I always played the king's music first. Apart from that, the other Thai folk or Thai popular music also is part of my playing because my parents want me to entertain the guests since I was young, so I have to learn how to improvise myself. And also, when I was the last year of architecture student conductor for the boys' choir, and after that she advised me that you should go and further your study in music so you can come back and be very useful to our country. That's what I did, and she encouraged me so much. Nat Yon Tararak is best known for his arrangements of the music of the late King Pumipong, as well as works inspired by Thai folk songs. One of his works, Glory to Our Great Kings, a piano sonata written to commemorate the golden jubilee of the late King Pumipong's ascension to the throne, was presented at the 50th session of the UN General Assembly in 1995. How did this all begin? and why the fascination with the king's music. Let's hear from the man himself. I had the patroness, Her Highness Princess Sudasiri Sopha, who also encouraged me to write something to play on the concert platform, which comes from Thai classical music. The first piece that I did was the Gaigai or Chrysophescent, which I made as a variation form. And from that, people love it so much because I had a chance to play that piece on the inaugural concert for the opening of the Thailand Cultural Center in 1987, which His Majesty King Ramana I was there and it was televised all over the country. When people heard this piece the first time, the very first time to have the Thai music on the concert platform on piano solo, it made a lot of impact that people love it so much and that made a lot of encouragement for me as a pianist and of starting to be a composer. For the students who want to learn something very delicate or the nuances of sound, you cannot explain so much by listening through the loudspeaker. But if you listen through the stereo R, you can hear the nuances of tone, shades, a color, because the piano can really produce millions of shades of sound, and which loudspeaker cannot. So if you have the Spirio R, you can really hear and you can learn how they use a soft pedal or what is the volume and the quality of tone color. You cannot experience that through the loudspeaker. The piano can really do it. Join Steinway artist Nat Yon Tararak in Singapore, where he'll be playing his own arrangements of compositions by the late King Pumipon, as well as Thai folk music on the latest Steinway Spirio R. Look out for our next episode, where we explore Steinway artist Dr. Raoul Sonico's relationship with his Steinway piano.